Here on Cape Cod, caring for our environment is a top priority. A local organization is working to help residents and visitors take better care of our special place. Talking about plastic and pollution and litter and how to prevent it and uh, to encourage people to, to really step up and become stewards of the special place where we live. Local environmental and municipal leaders came together at the Care for the Cape and Islands Summit in early March, working to identify top priorities to help craft messages about protecting our environment. It's a constant struggle to educate our employees and visitors to Cape Cod about what's important in reducing harmful environmental impacts of our behavior. It's aesthetic, it's environmental, and it's economic. The reality is if we don't pick up all this litter or don't prevent it in the first place, the Cape is going to deteriorate. It's going to start to not be very attractive for people who want to come and vacation and lay on our beaches and use our bike trails, things like that. Taking a cue from Lake Tahoe's Take Care campaign, the goal is to rebrand those images to reflect the needs of Cape Cod. She's essentially creating a playbook, not only for um, Massachusetts, but for other regions to be able to pick up and adopt the campaign for use in their own areas. We brought it here because we share so many different, or so many similarities to Tahoe. You know, uh, we're all concerned about the environment and our water, and we uh, have a large influx of seasonal population. So um, we're just trying to ad adapt it slightly to focus on the key things that really are of concern here. Historically, many uh, messages that have gotten out to the public about environmental stewardship have come in the form of commands or the delivery has been like extremely dry or dense and so the public basically doesn't see it. And so the idea was the campaign needed to be joyous and collaborative and something that would um, spark people's attention um, when they're least expecting it. The group identified single-use plastics and other litter, carry-in and carry-out trash, aquifer protection, cigarette litter, and dog waste as top priorities for the coming year. It's a wonderful experience today just to see all of these various um, groups with different agendas coming together and collaborating in like a really um, kind way with each other to figure out how to get this all going. And I give Jill a lot of credit for being um, courageous to see that campaign and then to bring it to her community. There's a lot of enthusiasm in this room. And again, there are people here I haven't met before either. So it says the awareness is it's coming around, it's out there. Now it's what do we do next? What is our next step? to not only make people aware of the problem, but how to fix the problem. A great opportunity to educate. We've got Chamber of Commerce here. We've got educating our visitors and uh, hopefully making it so when our visitors are on Cape Cod, they don't have to carry their recycling back to Connecticut with them in the back of the station wagon, but they can do it here. Care for the Cape and Islands will now collaborate with artists and writers to craft the Take Care campaign for Cape Cod. They're hoping for a launch this summer. For Cape Media News, I'm Sarah Colvin.